Hey there, strangers! My name's Neos, and welcome back once again to FTL Faster Than Light and our seemingly never ending quest to reach the edge of the galaxy to give information to the Empire, whatever we are, I don't even remember, in hopes of crushing this evil rebellion that has way more ships than our entire Empire does, so I don't even know how they're a rebellion at this point. And it's been probably over a week since I've played this, and I forgot what a crappy situation we were in. We are half dead, and we've only got one thing of fuel, and we're only in the third sector of, I think, ten. So, um, this might be a very short episode? Hopefully not. Let's see if we can possibly pull this out. Alright, so, oop, that's the wrong button. Actually, I don't have enough to upgrade some stuff, but nope, we're gonna save that, because I need to fix my ship if I can find a store. Of course, there is no shop here at all. Great. All right, so we need to see if we can go to as many places as we possibly can. So probably going this way, please be a shop over- Actually, this first person I go- I'm gonna have to fight somebody. Please give me fuel when I make you explode. And it is, you begin charging your FTL drive. No, I'm not, because I don't have any fuel. And do a quick scan of local planets. You find the ruins of a recently destroyed Federation colony on the surface. There must be a rebel ship in the vicinity. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight the rebel ship, because otherwise I'm just stuck here because I've got no fuel. Okay, go searching for the rebel ship, because why not? You spend some time uh, looking around, but your scans cannot pick up any trace of the rebel ship. You prepare to move on. No, I don't, because I can't move. Alright, fine, whatever. I guess we'll just turn on our distress beacon and sit here and hope that maybe somebody will come along and be like, Hey, here's some Oh, hey, here's some fuel. <laughs> cool. Okay, so a refugee shi ship fleeing the rebel advance, uh, rebel advance enters your system. Or enters the system. Having picked up your distress beacon, while it doesn't have much fuel to spare, it recognizes you're part of the Federation. Federation, not the Empire. I keep calling it the Empire for some reason. Because of the Rebels, that's why. Star Wars. And offers to split the remaining fuel. They only have one fuel? Oh, I feel bad, because they're going to go one further, and they're probably just going to get shot in the face. Because I have the resources. Hello! Why are you so close? I don't like that. Um... Okay, if I go here, they're gonna hit me the next turn. As I'm, uh, I need to make distance. I need to make get fuel. Don't be in a place with a freaking star that's gonna solar flare and kill me. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out. I'm gonna just burn and die. Oh great! A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves to engage. Okay, so. The plan is, you need to die. You need to die immediately so that I can uh, live. I need to take your fuel. I need to somehow kill you and take your fuel. So I need to wait for this one to fire, and so it'll take out their shields, and then I'll fire this one immediately after, because they have different charge speeds. Okay, so ready, ready, ready. And they're taking out my shields. But now I have this, and now fire at... They're just going to take out their shields. Uh, take their weapons! And blam, shields! I missed their weapons, but I have neutralized their shields temporarily, which is what I need. No, 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 no. Yeah! I've got two levels of shields. You've only got one. You are screwed. You're going to die. I'm going to get... No, no, what's it? Soul Flare a minute. No, 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 no. Uh, kill them, kill them faster. Kill them. Oh, no. Oh, okay. They're gonna give me four fuel. I will take your four fuel and leave. We have, cl you have clearly bested us. We uh, merely request our lives. And they've, actually, they gave me quite a bit of stuff for that. And that is actually the only thing that's on fire. That is really, really good. So let's put out that. We'll do that. Let's let this fill up with oxygen just so we're all good. And then we're gonna jump off to safety. Okay. So, now we've got four fuel. If we wanted to, we could go one, two, three. We couldn't leave it if, even if we wanted to. Okay, so let's go here, because we actually have fuel to go around this system just a little bit. You arrived to have a small fleet of NG ships target you with a message. Piracy results in negative societal impact. Not permitted, but I'm not a pirate. Even though I keep saying I, I kind of seem like I might actually be a space pirate. But I'm totally not a pirate. I'm with the... Federation, I remembered at that time. I'm with the Federation. We're trying to fight those other guys. You assure them that of your honest intentions and they allow you to pass. <gasps> yes! I am apparently a brilliant talkologist. I can't remember what the word is I'm looking for. Store! Yes! Go to the store. Go to the store. Give me fuel. Give me, um, ship. I need both of those. You detect, bleh, you detect a hub of activity nearby. A large corporation has set up a trade depot and has a small net... Ha, and has... A number of well-armed ships patrolling. This appears to be a relatively safe place to get repairs. Yes! We need repairs and fuel, though. I can, I can get five fuel... Wait, wait. No, I think it's per? I, I, that only costs a little bit. Yeah, okay, I only bought one. 
Um, how much would it cost? Oh, I can fix everything, and I still have money to get fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. Yes! We are back on track. We might not die. We might actually not die. That that in itself is amazing. I could sell some things. Um, do you have anything I actually want to buy? Not really, but I could sell some of these guns. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna keep the guns for now in case I decide that I need them in the future. Cool. So we're actually our life. I I was sure. I was positive that I was about to die in this sector because I had nothing and there was no store. Oh, look at this, a puny little drone. A rebel autonomous scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a moon. How do you hide behind a moon? But the ship finds you and uh, begins its assault. Unfortunately for that poor little ship, it's got nothing. You are so going dumb and take that out and we're gonna take out this and then you're just gonna die. Oh, wait, actually wait, we don't need that to fire yet. We need to wait on that so that this fires first because this will fire twice, it only fires once. And you fire, now their shields are down, fire! Take out their gun! Oh, yep, you missed, you missed. But their shields can no longer recharge because they've got nobody on their ship. It's a robot, so we're cool. Ta would you break their stu- There we go, now they've got no tiny drones. They've only got one, uh, that thing. Okay, just shoot at that, kill that thing. Please, just break it so it can't shoot at me anymore. And, kablamo! There we go. We've become unstoppable. I say that, I'm gonna die in the next round, but we're actually doing good. That's amazing. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap metal and fuel. I don't even know how you get fuel out of something that exploded. Why did the fuel not explode? I don't know how this works. Seems like fuel would be combustible. That's kind of half the definition of fuel, but whatever, I don't even care. We're just gonna go through the sector and everything will be good. Once you arrive, your screens light up with warnings. A nearby pirate ship seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they have tried to shut down your engine. How would you do that from a distance? I don't even know. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational, and you move in to attack. Yeah, you cannot take down this crew. This crew is far beyond your skills. And I'm just gonna blast you as soon as this thing comes up. Come on, come on, come on. I know you can do it. I know you can. Oh, look at that. They got a cute little gun. It's got nothing. Take that. Oh, you've actually hit my engines. That's not cool. Okay, but but we took out your shields and now we're gonna take out your face. Uh, come on. Oh, I took out the guns. You broke my engine. That's not cool, but you are about to explode, so I don't think I care. And stop with the shields. You need to die. You need to die because I want to live. I have a very important mission to do here, and it's called surviving. Yeah, take that, you loser pirates. With the pirate ship destroyed, your ship's system is restored to full functionality. You salvage what you can from the debris. That's a lot of debris. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We've got so much. There's a distress beacon. We can upgrade some stuff on our ship now. Well, I could upgrade. I want to upgrade my shields. So I don't, yes. Shields are good. Shields are very good. I could upgrade to get more guns, but I want more shields. But I don't actually have enough to get this two levels higher. Let's just go ahead and give us some more power. Power is a good thing to get. We'll get more power. If we get enough, we'll upgrade our shields. And actually, these other things are really useful, too. Oh, I don't know. You should upgrade everything. You really should. Just everything needs to be upgraded. Because, see, engines allow me to dodge. Uh, piloting also allows me to dodge. See, one of these will give me 50% evasion. This will give me, what, 1.5 times evasion. That's also 50% evasion. This one! That's the one we're going with, I guess. Sure, why not? Okay, so everything is using up the power. Cool! Everything's going good. Let's go to this distress beacon and be heroes and save space from whoever is causing distress. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! Okay, that's not cool. I say we bombard the area from space, but... But I shouldn't do this, but since we have so many guys, and two of these guys are kind of worthless, let's send somebody to go take out the- <gasps> Mort is gone! Oh no! But he was one of the guys I didn't really care about, even though he's really good at repairing stuff. Sorry, Mort! Bye! So your crew boards the station, cautious, uh, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly a man-sized erected burst from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless- one came through the ceiling, and by the way, there were 70 more. No big deal, just the first one matters. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everyone made it back. Mort! Mort! What, what was Mort even doing? I don't remember. Was he on shields? He might have been on shields. Uh, Charlie! You're now on shields! 
to fix that stuff. Also, you need to heal, Squiggles. I forgot Squiggles is on my ship. Now, this is Squiggles 2. Come on, heal up, Squiggles. We've got stuff to do. We've got places to go. There's a big fleet of douchebags coming to murder us, so we need to leave. Okay, so get over there. Go, 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 go. Okay, and now we jump to our new location. So let's go to another distress beacon, because that one, that one worked out so well that we lost somebody. I hate when that happens, but it's, it's a risk. So you arrive to find a ship floating through some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? I don't have that much fuel, but I'm a good guy, so yes! Here's some fuel, enjoy! You give them fuel. Thank you, here's some extra scrap as payment. Yeah, we got 44 scrap! That's cool. Oh wait, that's not what I want to do. Do we have a... There's no shop nearby. Let's see, one, two, three. I'm gonna have to fight my way out again. I'm gonna have to do it again! Oh, uh, crap. Um... Saving the fuel, because I'm going to have to repair myself in the next sector. Oh, I didn't plan this out as well as I thought I did. Okay, so here, to here, to here. Okay, three jumps. That's it. We got three jumps, and then we're gone. Everything's fine. No need to panic. I'm panicking. Okay. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation sympathizers. We're not a sympathizer. We're part of the Federation. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Search among the store to see if you can... Uh, find someone who will sell to you? Yes? You find single- uh, find a single store that responds to your hails. Don't open any wideband channels. We'll sell anything to you, but we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Cool! Yeah, what is that? I don't have- I do have enough money for it. What is this? A terrifying beam that does no physical damage but ignites fires. That could be really, really useful. Uh, but I've already got things that actually cause damage and everything else. I, I'm just gonna stick with these for now. I, I should. Okay, I, I could replace Mort. I could just buy a guy and replace Mort. How, I shouldn't be able to just buy people. There's something wrong about that. All right, so let's just go ahead and fix our two things right there. We've still got plenty of stuff. Um, let's buy a little bit of fuel. I hate spending money on fuel because I like just getting it off of salvage, but I want to make sure we don't get stuck here again. A store. Okay, so we went from a store to another store. You're gonna have something I want, aren't you? You're just gonna make me mad. A well-armed transport ship with a squadron of fighters are in, or in, that, are in orbit nearby. You are wary of their trustworthiness, but beggars can't be choosers. FTL jammer. So, uh, what does it do? Uh, scrambles enemy ship FTL computers. Doubles the time it takes for them to jump. That's pretty cool. Lifeform scanner detects the location of any lifeforms even when sensors don't function. And a hacking stun. Uh, all crew, yeah. all crew inside a room during a hack and hacking pulse will be stunned during the duration. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, we got more stuff here. What is this? An ion stunner? Oh, a hole laser? A powerful counterpart to the hole smasher Mark One? Yes. Uh, fires a projectile per shot. Oh, so that's cool. I don't have enough money for that, so we're not going to bother with that. I've got weapons that work. We're going to stick with my weapons that work for now. I so want some of these. I could, I could to mind control. Oh, or hacking. Hacking turns off, uh, let's see. Hacking a single target locks the doors, granted the... Blah, 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 targets a single system, locking its doors, and granting the ability to temporarily disable or disrupt it. That! That would be amazing for taking down shields. That might be worth selling some stuff off. Um, what do I have? I need 80. Do you have any? Do I have anything you want that'll make it up to 80? 32. Well, 32. Mm, do math. Uh, four, five, six, seven. If I sell both of my big guns that I'm not using, I could get it. Yes. Let's do it. Let's sell off some stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna do it. We now have a hacking device. We can just shut down people's shields. That is amazing. Okay. Uh, how much does this take? It only takes up one power! <gasps> That's amazing! Do I have to upgrade it all? Can I upgrade it? I don't know. I cannot upgrade it. Oh, yes, I can! I can! Okay, what can I do? A longer disrupt time? I don't have enough money for that. Oh, that's amazing! I can take down things! The Neosmobile is becoming unstoppable! You just wait! You watch, Rebel Ships! I'm coming for you next! Alright, because actually I have to. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to fight them anyway. Why not just go ahead and do whatever's here, get some free salvage or whatever it is, and then attack the rebels? Because I'm probably gonna get damaged here, that's why. A ship hails you. Good sir, it seems you're having some trouble with the rebels. I'd like to help you, but I can't afford the upkeep requirements on this hunk of junk come flying. Apparently it's half Millennium Falcon. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. Mm, yes, he's a pirate. He's wanting to help me. 
but he's a pirate. And as has been established through my random acts of violence, we can't allow any pirates in our galaxy. Fight the pirate ship! Mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary in battle. All right, cool. So let's turn on both of the- oh, no, turn that on. Leave that on. Can I use this? If I were to- can I use this? I want to- I want to take out your shields. Shields? Fire it away. Yes! Yes! Shields are down! Oh, fire. Fire all- oh, or do I have to activate it? I don't know. How does this work? Uh, begins disruptibility. Okay, so once these are charged, I'm gonna activate this, which takes out their shields, or disrupts it, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how that works. And then everyone, fire at the shield room! Destroy it entirely! Yeah! Oh, look at that! Your shields are on fire! Oh, you're trying to shoot through my shields, but you got this cute little laser! It's doing nothing! You've got no chance, you dirty, smelly pirates! Oh, what is this? You get a frantic message. Take everything we have, just don't kill us. You're pirates. I don't believe you. You're gonna try to kill someone later, and also, what you're offering me kind of sucks. So we will accept no surrender, and we will take more than you were offering, I hope, unless it's all going to explode. I don't know. I may have just become a horrible, murderous pirate myself, but we're killing pirates, so it's okay, maybe? I don't know. I don't care, they died. See, look at that. We got so much more of this. I think they may have given me more fuel before, but that's fine. We got way more salvage. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, here it comes. Here comes the noise and the doom. We're going to the exit. We're gonna blast our way through these rebel scum, and we're out of here. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels have gotten here first. You must survive long enough to jump to the next sector. You got it. There's no chance. You got no chance. The Neosmobile will annihilate your everything. Your face. Your face is just not gonna be here soon. Okay, so now let's go ahead and activate this, which will do that, which I think drains stuff. It totally does! It's draining, draining, draining. Yes! Now their shields are down, so just fire at the shield room. Annihilate their shields entirely. Yes! And I set it on fire! Why? That's... That is amazing. Now take out their stupid guns before they have a chance to do gun-related things. Just shoot them. Shoot them dead. You got so close to hitting me with that missile. I'm glad that you're a terrible, terrible shot. Oh, this is glorious. Oh, you're going down. You're just gonna go down. And that's it. You're dead. You're dead. You're done, son! You're going down! Oh, I've, I've become a force to be reckoned with. This is amazing! Yes! There's no time to salvage the enemy ship. You must jump away before the cruisers get in firing range. You got it! And we are off to our third... One, two, three, fourth sector! Yes! And we don't really have a choice this time. We are going to a Mantis-controlled sector. And away we go! Bye, Rebel Losers! You've got no chance against the Neosmobile. Ah, uh, it's amazing. So let's read this before we can- or uh, end this episode, I guess. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. We definitely have enough armor. We might have enough fuel. I don't know. Maybe, but we have enough guns and willpower and skill to just annihilate any mantis ships that come into our area. I'm, I'm sorry, Charlie. But we're gonna kill all the mantises except for Charlie. And unless Charlie starts giving me some sass and then I might just launch him out into space. But until the next episode, we'll have to wait to find out. So I hope you guys are enjoying our continued assault through the galaxy as we plow through all these evil rebel scum in order to bring glory to the Federal Empire. Th I don't even know if I'm a bad guy anymore. I very well might be, but I'm having fun, so I really don't care. So I hope you guys are still enjoying. Take care, and I will see you in the next episode.